Hello, my name is Heath Jones, and I'm the new pastor at Northwood Christian Church, Disciples of Christ, here in Indianapolis. We're at the corner of 46th and Central, if you're looking for us. And I'd like to share with you for a moment something about our heart and how we think about God and what God asks of us. I am sitting in a church pew in a sanctuary, and I realize that for many people, myself included sometimes, a church pew can be a place that produces anxiety, uncertainty in the negative sense of the term, fear, guilt, unnecessary guilt, and maybe you can remember a time where you sat in a pew and heard a sermon that just made your heart sink. I guess what I'm saying is there are beliefs about God preached in churches and other places of worship that burden us and uh, do harm and not good. And we want to be a church that draws from the best of our tradition, from the scriptures and, and the beliefs that Christians have long held about Jesus and Jesus' purpose and place and significance in the world. And we would like to do good with beliefs about God and to use them to bring healing and wholeness and redemption and freedom from guilt and freedom from anxiety and every other thing. One of my favorite passages in the scripture is Luke chapter 4. It tells a story about Jesus uh, when he walked into a synagogue and he read from the book of Isaiah. He unrolled the scroll and he read from that part where Isaiah, speaking in the voice of God, looks towards a time when good news is proclaimed to the poor, where those who are in prison are set free, where those who are blind are given sight, and where those who are oppressed are freed as well. And he looks towards a time when the year of the Lord's favor is proclaimed. The year of the Lord's favor was a time that was looked forward to, when all was well and as it should be, where all of creation and all of humanity lived in sync with the will and purposes of God. And Jesus reads from this passage, closes the scroll, and says to the people watching, today this scripture is fulfilled in your presence. Jesus is saying that he brought that picture for, re for humanity, that picture for who we are called to be as God's children into reality. That is what we are trying to do. Living in the tradition of Jesus, living as followers of Christ, trying to bring little pockets of the year of the Lord's favor of God's realm onto earth, or as the Lord's prayer says, on earth as it is in heaven, making things on earth as they are in heaven. Now, we do that by looking around us and trying to discern who are the poor who need good news, and what does that good news look like for them? Who are the enslaved, imprisoned, literal prisoners perhaps, or people who are imprisoned by anxieties and depressions or addiction, and, and what can we do to bust them out? Those who are blind, uh, and maybe if they're literally blind, help them live life well, or maybe if they are blind, metaphorically speaking, and don't quite see the world as God wishes that they would see the world and the people in it, we'll maybe help them along as best as we can. Who are the oppressed and how can we stand with them and advocate for them? And what does it look like for the year of the Lord's favor, for God's realm to live out in our community? And so this is where we'd like to have conversations with you, whoever you are watching this video, because you have gifts, talents, abilities, and resources, and you, I'm assuming, have a passion and a desire to see this community uh, be all that it can be and be to transformed in all of the ways that it needs transformed, and we would like to partner with you, whatever that looks like, even if you never come into our, our church on a Sunday morning, how can we connect your resources with the desperate need that surrounds us in different places? Or if you are one of those who are sitting in that need, poor, or enslaved, or blind, or whatever, and we can help you out in some way. Maybe uh, we would like to know who you are and how we can maybe be the hands and feet of Jesus in your circumstance. Whatever the case may be, 
uh, we hope to meet you. You can come and check out our worship at 1045 on a Sunday morning if you wish, or if not, you can call our church. Our number's on the website, or you can email us. There are many different ways that you can get to know us. Our website is ndncc.org, ndncc.org, and you can look us up if you're interested. If not, we're looking forward to meeting you in some fashion, and we hope that when you do meet us, you see the love of God revealed through us. Thank you.